Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest left a high power career in corporate America <laughs> to pursue her passion and her mission to have one billion mm. girls and women learn how to love themselves with her sister accord global movement. She's also the author of a new book called 51 Ways to Love Your Children. Mm, I love that. Please yes. welcome Sonia Jackson. Hi. Yes. Yes. It's such an honor to be here yes, with you. Yes, we're so very excited. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> well, you look amazing. I say your dress um, is like a bomb. Yes. Oh, it's sharp, you. girl. Come, Come on, on now. Off. You're looking real good. Thank yes. you. Thank Absolutely. You. Okay, so let's take it all the way back. You started in corporate America, had a very, very successful career. And then God tapped you on your shoulder and said, walk away from all of this money and everything you have, and I need you to influence the world, to uh, share the love Girls and women, one billion strong. Mm. Wow, that's a tall task. Yeah, it is. Walk us through that. It was so huge. And the thing for me was, because I was successful in corporate America, I thought that was what I should be doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that is not always the case. Everybody has an assignment. Mm -hmm. It has been planted in us as, it was, as we were formed in our mother's wombs. Mm -hmm. The key to life, living a fulfilled life, is understanding what that assignment is and then walking in it. Mm -hmm. Because it's not about you, it's yeah. for the people that you've been called to serve. Yeah, when I tell you, I said we were so created that, for service. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened for me. Yeah. I saw the behavior in corporate America where women were taking each other out, treating each other bad, not supporting each other, and I wanted to do something about it. Wow. You know, that's right. Yeah. Now, Sonia, you say that um, the healing of our community starts with our families. Absolutely. You're married, you have two children. Yes. Um, why do you say that? You know, what, what brings you to that conclusion? Well, you know, I, one of my oh. very first partners when I left Procter & Gamble was Disney. And so I sit on the board with the Disney Dreamers Academy. And I'm standing there talking to students and understanding what they're saying about their lives. And I realized that they weren't dreaming. Mm. But guess what? Their parents weren't dreaming. Wow. Right. Yeah. yeah. Message. Right? So we mm -hmm. have to make sure that that is par for the course in our families. Yes. And that we are leading with love. There's so much pain, so much trauma. And I wanted to just use my message and my platform to say, we have to lead with love at home yes. and in the workplace. Yes, yes, yes that's beautiful. Yes. And uh, obviously you say it starts at home. In your book, 51 Ways to Love Your Children, yes. you say one of the most important aspects of loving our children is to help them understand their gifts mm -hmm. and talents. Why is that so important? Yes. Everyone focuses on the negative. Everyone focuses focuses on what's what lacking. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it's like, no, I want to make sure that we leverage those strengths because when you walk in those strengths, that's where the magic happens. Yes. yes. And so once I, once I stepped back and said, you know, let me stop trying to make my children what I want them to be. I have, yes. So that they can be who God created them to be. Yes, and what what is that point where you have to stop yourself as a mother? Because I've seen myself say, no, she is not who you want her to be. She needs to be exactly who she's supposed yes. to be. Yes. What is that epiphany for parents? Or, or how, uh, how what can if, they come to it? Exactly, how can parents come to that epiphany? For me, when my son said that, Mom, I'm the Black Walt Disney, mm -hmm. and I'm like, what do you mean? You better go to college and you mm -hmm. better do it like this and it's got to look like that because that's what I did. Yeah. Right. And I said, wait a minute, Sonia, what are you doing? He has to live his life. And so now he's working on his, his storylines and his cartoons and his characters. And that he has so, so much awesome. joy yeah. because he is doing exactly what I believe he was created to do. Right. And that's what it's all about. Love, joy, peace, all the fruits of the spirit. It's like, how do we get to that? It's by walking in it each and every day and allowing our children to do the same thing. And, and that is, let me tell you something, that is so powerful what you said because there are so many uh, adults mm -hmm. that are not walking in their passion and broken. so they can't teach hurting, child. broken, yeah. and, and, sad, and, and depressed. Yes. And, and this brings me to one of the things that you said in your book when you say, um, you know, it's a wake up call to, to the village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. When you talk about it takes a village to yes. raise children. What have we done where we've gotten away from that and what do we need to do to get back to that? Yes. Love for ourselves and love for each other. Mm -hmm. It's, it's mm -hmm. back to Simple. love. And so I remember so very vividly, I was down the street, I was probably in the fourth or fifth grade, and cussing. Mm. 
mm-hmm. knowing that my parents I did sure not was. teach me. I sure yes. was doing okay, that too. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not, and Miss Taylor, before I got home, Miss Taylor had already called my parents and said, and told. Sonia is down here doing some things that I know mm-hmm. you would be very disappointed in. Thank God for the Miss Ta- Mrs. Yes. Taylors. And so we just step back. You know, I don't, I don't care what they're doing over there. Right, I'm right. turn the other way. Right. And, and for me, if we're really going to heal poverty, mm-hmm. if we're really going to address the things that are going on in our community, we must come together yes. and we must care. Right, right. And Sonia, what would be the one thing that you would tell women, mothers at home, what would be the, the, the biggest advice that you could give them mm-hmm. right now? The biggest advice for me on this journey was learning how to love me. Yes. I struggled with so That's many so things hard. and you know every all these outside influences telling me that I had to be this way and I had to look this mm-hmm. way. Once I really truly embraced Wait, who over. I was mm-hmm. Girl, and all of my that. awesomeness and all of my amazing we're fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God but then yet we step back. We step back from our greatness. Yeah. We're all great. Yes. And we have allowed other people to diminish that mm-hmm. and so for me it's all about with these this billion girls and women it's all about getting us to love ourselves and love each other I let me hold right. this big I'm, I'm on my way yes. out thank you so much for sharing your story yes ma'am yes this message this message you can find her book 51 ways to love your children wherever fine books are sold yes.